Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to the Kamado Joe Cooking Channel. Today, since we've got the Olympics going on down in Brazil, we're going to try to do something a little Brazilian. So we're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic, use the Joe Tisserie, and we're going to make some picanha with some homemade chimichurri sauce. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to get this party started by making our chimichurri sauce. And I've never made this sauce before, so I'm borrowing this recipe from Bon Appetit. So I'll give you a link in the video description to this recipe. We're going to start out with one half of a cup of red wine vinegar, one teaspoon of kosher salt. I've got four cloves of garlic that I've just smashed, and we're just going to set those right in there. And then we're going to put in about a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes and I'm just going to stir that up and we're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes before we move on. Okay, I'm going to move into a larger mixing bowl now. I'm going to dump this red wine vinegar mixture in here and one of the things I just did that I didn't show you on camera is I took the smashed garlic out of there and I went ahead and diced it up fairly finely. So to that we're going to add one half of a cup of freshly chopped cilantro and about one half of a cup of freshly chopped flat leaf parsley and about two tablespoons of freshly chopped oregano. And then we're going to dump in three quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And then I'm just going to stir all this together with a fork and get it completely mixed. And we're going to let this sit for about another 20 minutes right here on the countertop. Now we have the star of our show, which is a top sirloin cap, just like this. And I have gotten this with the fat cap still on it. And that's, that's critical for this. You want that fat cap to stay on there. And you can see our grain is running this way. So we're going to slice this guy up against the grain. We're going to slice it into strips. Just about like that. Those will be perfect. So I've got four or so pieces. That one little piece I'm going to stick aside. So. The next thing we're going to do is put these in a bag. I'm going to put each of these in a Ziploc or put them all in the same Ziploc. And then we're going to take our chimichurri sauce and dump it in and marinate this. Now I have also taken out one half of a cup of this to save as a sauce. We're going to use the rest of it here as a marinade. So we're going to get that all in the bag and we're going to work it around this meat and we're going to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate probably for two to three hours in the bag. We're going to fire up the Kamado Joe Classic. I've got a load of charcoal in here. I don't have a very big load, but I've got two Kamado Joe fire starter cubes in here. We're going to light these up and we're going to let them burn here with the lid open for about 10 minutes. Now that we have our fire going, I'm going to close the lid on the Joe. And since we're cooking on the rotisserie, I'm not real particular about a specific temperature. So I'm going to shoot for somewhere between 350 and 400 degrees roughly on the dome thermometer. So I'm going to leave the bottom vent about halfway open. And I'm going to close the slider on the top all the way and leave the daisy wheel about uh, three-fourths of the way open and just gonna let this thing stabilize for a while until we get it up to temp while we get our meat ready. Okay, I have taken the meat out of the refrigerator, out of the bag, and I've loaded it up on my spit rod, and we're gonna sprinkle it with a coating of kosher salt on all sides. And then we're gonna get this on the rotisserie. Okay, our classic is up to temp, so we are going to put 
the rotisserie in place and we're going to fire it up and let this start to spin so I'm not sure how long this is going to take to cook but we will be back shortly and I'll let you know when this is close to time to come off. I'm going to cook this up to about a medium rare so we will be back. Okay we've been going for about 12 minutes or so here so I'm going to open it up so we can have a look. It's looking really good. It's not quite ready yet. It's got a little while longer to go but you can see we're getting a nice little crust here on the outside so I'm going to close it back up and we're going to keep cooking. Okay guys, we've been on here for about 20 minutes and these things are just about ready according to my temperature. So I'm going to pull these off, we're going to cut into them and have a taste. Okay guys, I've sliced one of these down and I've drizzled on a little bit of our uh, chimichurri sauce that we made and this is a perfect medium rare cook. So let's have a taste of this, it's absolutely smelling great. Okay guys, I'm ready to try a piece of this with some of our chimichurri sauce on it and a little strip of that fat cap. So let's see what we've got. Hmm. Wow, that is truly amazing. That chimichurri sauce with the cilantro and the garlic and the little hint of red pepper really brings a beautiful flavor to this meat. I've never tried that before. This is a first for me too, so that's staying on the keeper list. Guys, enjoy the Olympics. Give this a try. Let me know what you think. Leave us a comment on the video. Follow us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Kamado Joe, and follow us on Twitter at Kamado Joe. And until next time, this is John Setzler with Kamado Joe Cooking Channel.